What's up guys, Overdove here. In this video, we're going to be doing activities on Altitude DeFi application to potentially become eligible for the future airdrop. As usual, not a financial advice, always do your own research and information provided as is, so follow at your own risk. And all links going to be in description. So if we take a look at the project's tokenomics, you can see that 5% of tokens or 5 million tokens allocated to the strategic airdrop or airdrops so potentially all of that or some of that is going to go towards the testnet users currently the application launched the public testnet and we can do the activities there and also team prepared the comprehensive guide that you can follow also application is built with layer zero technologies and currently pretty much everything with the sticker layer zero on it gets a lot of momentum and hype due to people expecting the layer zero airdrop pretty soon. If you've been following the news, maybe you saw the speculation that the snapshot for the layer zero has actually been taken and they're gonna announce in June. But again, this is just the speculation. But going back to the altitude, the application itself is very similar to the Stargate. So if you use the Stargate, it should be pretty easy for you to navigate within the app. The one thing that I personally don't like about this project is that team seems to be completely private. I haven't been able to find any socials, any mentions of people or organizations. The only thing is at the footer of the website states Apex Labs, which is a very generic name. On the quick search, I wasn't able to find any companies related to crypto, only pharmaceuticals. But we're going to do activities on the testnet. So currently for me, this is not a big issue. As I said, they have a pretty comprehensive guide that you can also follow. And the first steps that we need to do is to get some testnet tokens. I already got testnet tokens on all chains, but if you need them, you can again follow this guide. And after you acquire testnet tokens from native faucets, uh, we need to go to altitudes for set and also get some tokens here first of all we need to connect the wallet on oh, them i need to disable my coinbase the coinbase screws up metamask so hard i have to constantly turn it off because it's, it's like literally impossible and as you can see we can only request tokens once per day I'm currently on Avalanche, Fuji testnet. And as far as I understand, we can request tokens on every chain. Now Binance, request tokens. Transaction failed. I'm getting RPC errors, let's try Metis. Switching. Looks good. What's wrong with my Binance? There is currently an RPC issue. I don't think I can fix it in any way. Also, I don't think this is mandatory to request all three so we can carry on. And the first functionality that we're going to test is the bridge. Here we have three tokens to bridge. Altitude, ABT, and then USDC. Based on the balance, we got a thousand of each token. And it also states in guide that Medic and FTM should be distributed via the AVAX faucet. So if we put Phantom, do we have Phantom? Yeah, so besides uh, Altitude tokens and USDC, you actually get in Phantom. And we should be getting Medic too, right? Medic. Yes, there's only a thousand of Medic. Uh, but they're going to be on Avalanche chain. So we can go ahead and bridge those. First of all, let's see how this works. So currently we are bridging Matic and I'm also going to do the same for the Phantom. Okay, now we can swap. Guide tells us to bridge um, altitude tokens, LATD, and then ABT and USDC. Yeah, for some reason, transaction, I cannot see it here. I can only see it in transactions. And 
Okay, this is a bit confusing in terms of the interface, but I guess it's fine. Okay, transaction confirmed. And now it says no pending transactions. So we breached Matic. And now let's do the same for the Phantom. Set allowance. All right, now we can swap. Looks like it's been completed, going really fast. I'm a bit confused because transactions are going here and it says approve. It's kind of like you approve and swap on one chain and then you approve on the other chain, I suppose. And once you approve, then it's, I don't know. Yeah, it's a bit confusing to be honest. Mm -hmm. It says it's confirmed. And if I go to transactions now, it shows me no pending transactions. Somehow, I don't know how, but I, I managed to bridge a thousand of my ALTD tokens from AVAX to Phantom. Okay, now let's do an ALTD transfer from Medis to, let's say, BNB. I wanna basically have these tokens on every chain. What has been completed or time what I have phantom to polygon. Let's do 500 bridge. Nice. And now I'll send some from polygon to avalanche. This should load soon. There you go, I'll just do 250 this time. Yeah, transactions are going very fast. So we are done with a LTD tokens. Now let's do some ABTs and USDCs. Okay, what else do I want to do? I want to do all chains. So we need Polygon and we need Phantom because on Medis we already got them. Let's try Medis to Polygon. Wait, we can't do that? Are they mentioning anything here regarding the ABTs? Not really. I have a thousand ABT tokens on Medis. Yet it seems like ABT and USDC, you can only swap to Avalanche and then from Avalanche. Okay, let's, let me see if I want, yeah, you can't send them to Y. So you cannot send them to Polygon. Uh, you cannot send them to Phantom. What about BNBs? Wait, 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 no, not here. Yeah, you can send them to BNBs. So this token, the altitude token, you can swap between any chains, it seems like. And these uh, two tokens, ABT and USDC, if you request them on Medis, from Medis, the only destination, it looks to be the avalanche. So if you wanna move these tokens, you have to do it through the avalanche. And I'm gonna do exactly that. First, I'm gonna bridge these tokens to Avalanche. And then from Avalanche, I can bridge them to other chains. Well, by other chains, I mean BNB in this particular case. Wait, what? What is this transaction? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it's, why it's like this, but nevertheless. And I actually wonder if there is a way to cancel this pending stuff. Like, if I don't want to do this, can I just cancel somewhere? So if I click approve here and I click reject, it still loads the MetaMask. But if I click confirm, 
This gives me an RPC error. What if I approve? Is this the same? It seems like a problem with the BNB chain. Yeah. So BNB seems to be not working currently. So if I want USDC, for example, let's try USDC to BNB. It's probably not going to work as well. There is, seems to be an issue with an RPC for the BNB chain. Okay, I'm lost. So it already shows me the balance of 500 USDC. Yet I do have this transaction here that I can approve and what's going to happen. It shows transaction failed, but they just got stuck here. It's stuck and you can actually click on this, but when you click on this, they just, they just pop the MetaMask, but they're going to give you the RPC error. So it seems like it's loading the same balance on AVAX and on BNB. It's loading this from AVAX. If I swap PKBT, it's loading the same balance. And I'm not sure where these tokens really at. So let's try to, to bridge those. Are they on BNB or are they on Avalanche? Yeah, as you can see. Okay, well now after the MetaMask popped, after th this window loaded, it shows the correct balance. It's like a caching issue or something, I don't know. We don't actually have any ABTs on BNB currently. I assume all these ABTs are on Avalanche. Yeah, so it seems like there is an issue with the BNB in particular. Are there any announcements on the Discord? Nope. So can we send anything to BNB now? That's my question, really. Because maybe these transactions are stuck because of that, because like BNB RPC is not working properly. And so it's impossible to send anything there. And also that's why the balance loads improperly. Yeah, so I think that BNB is just not working currently properly. So just avoid using the BNBs. If you go to Fawcett and you cannot claim um, tokens on BNB, most likely you're not going to be able to do any bridging transactions on BNB as well. Or you can just do them and after it all normalizes, you can complete them from this interface. I assume that's how it works. Yeah, but I'm going to move on for now. I think I spent way too much time on bridging here, trying to figure out what's going wrong. So now let's go to pools and see if our wallet balance is actually loading properly. Okay, let's try to stake something. This is ABT on Avalanche. Insufficient balance. How is this insufficient balance? Yeah, it's just lagging a bit. All right, looks fine. Let's try a couple more pulls. We can stake some native. Let's take some phantom. Insufficient balance. So after changing the network in MetaMask, you'll need to refresh the page because otherwise it's not loading properly. These are top pools and these are all pools, right? So if I want USDC on Metis, I need to go here. Change network. Refresh the page. Okay, now let's see if we got all our pools here. Yes, these are all in place. 
So apart from refreshing the page that worked really smooth. Now let's go to farms and you can see all possible farms here. So I think it would be better if they were sorted by the amount of LP available to stake. So let's do this one first. Do we need to refresh again? Yeah, we need to refresh. Okay, 500. And now we can farm. And now if we go to pools, that pool is no longer here. So now I only have Phantom Avalanche and Medis Avalanche. And again, I wish I could see them in this list, but I have to find it in this one. Okay, Phantom. There you go. Again, refresh. Wait for it to load set allowance and then we can actually farm that okay farm confirm okay the last pool is gonna be for me mattis usdc mattis avalanche have to find it here was successful now if you go to farms and you can see your farms on all our farms are here now what i want to do i want to remove some liquidity from this farm let's do a hundred huh here i didn't have to refresh the page odd all right Let's check. Yes, 400 here now. Okay, and the last functionality that we need to test is the staking. Yeah, so I assume this is currently only on Avalanche. Set allowance. Max, next. And now we stake. Cool success. Governance forum. Is this functional? Oh, it's a commonwealth. Okay, I, I saw this link already. Vote on snapshot. Oh, it's just a generic snapshot link. Yeah, so I think we've done testing. Sadly, nothing related to BNB chain works currently. And also we need to provide the feedback. Yeah, so feedback goes here to support channels. That's gonna be it for this video. Just a chill Saturday testnet activities. Thank you very much for watching. Please drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.